David. I've built a model of Captain Torres and three strikes. Based on your hypothesis and mission parameters from the past, I've ran a precision combat simulation. But it failed. Bummer. Why didn't it work? Reasons in sensuous order are... 1. Your hypothesis is trash. 2. The parameters you gave me are um, trash. Did I do something to tick you off? 3. Captain Torres is a singularity. So the values diverge. But what about this one? Four. Three strikes is a singularity. That's outside the confidence interval. The possibility that it's one, two, or three is 99%. What? Significance is high. Hmm. Try this. This is Three Strikes data before he's assigned to the LRSSG. gathering its remaining naval forces at Anchorhead Bay. Apparently, they're even bringing in ships from the Mothball fleet. This is probably to reinforce their naval power in preparation for the showdown in Farbanti. We've received intel that the Alicorn will also be joining them. From which source, Brigadier General? There's a possibility the Alicorn's former crew have been tasked with sabotage. Your job is to analyze the enemy's weaponry. From now on, speak only when authorized. I don't hear a response. May I be authorized to speak first, sir? <laughs> when you're done, I'll be talking to your superiors. Here's your mission. LRSSG is to raid Anchorhead, carry out airstrikes on Anchor Bay to the north, and Dockyuk Bay to the south, inflicting all possible damage. If we can strip the port of its naval functions, we can also prevent the submarine from joining forces. The area around Anchorhead is Erujian territory. To delay hostile detection, you will sortie in small numbers and make your way in at super low altitudes. Small sortie. Who's going? Count, Lanza, Hujan, and Trigger. Four aircraft from Strider Squadron will be deployed. Well, all right, I got this. To cover our lack of numbers, we're giving you plenty of opportunities to resupply. Look here. We've set up multiple return lines. Make full use of them to resupply and change armaments. Also note that the enemy will not be able to mount a defense immediately after detecting it. Use this window to destroy high threat targets. That should make things much easier for you. It should also raise the survival rate. Survival rate, huh? The element of surprise and resupplying are the key. Beyond that, I just need a couple of pilots who will stick to my orders. We don't need an ace to succeed. Got anything to say? Good. Brigadier General. That is all. Dave, go on. Let me share the career of Mateus Torres, captain of the submarine Alicorn. Does anyone know how his people hailed him? A bit unfair to provide us with next to no hints, don't you think? <laughs> Fair enough. The hero of Cumberth Harbor is the answer. He was a captain of the battleship Tanagere at the time of the Continental War. It led Egir fleet, the Invincible Armada. But when the fleet was destroyed at Cumberth Harbor, so was his ship. Yet, he's the hero? He was able to bring most of his crew home with accurate damage control and precise evacuation orders. Then, there's the accident with the Alicorn. Many believe that if they stay with him, they'll live. Transfer from surface to underwater is unusual. However, considering his skill and reputation, along with the fact that the Alicorn is no ordinary submarine, it all makes sense. It'll be a difficult mission to carry out with four aircraft. Still. I'd like to add one more to the mission conditions. What, you want to make it even harder? I want a 100% survival rate for the sword. Any other number and the mission will be considered a failure.
Strider Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP. Certainly not 
the result I predicted. I'm sorry, sir. All right. We wiped out most of their forces in the open area. I still see some ships moving. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. The runway is clear. Survival rate. Roger that. I'm pulling out. We got the rest. 
Strider 1, this is Control Tower. The runway is clear. Strider 
Strider 1, this is Control Tower. The runway is clear. Strider 
one has splashed a drone. Railgun shell lost its target. Fire verification complete. Fire! The bats seem to have enhanced their ECM capabilities. Right out. Something to so 
so small. Salvation on a far grander scale. submarine from joining forces. The unidentified aircraft were shot down too. The mission was a complete success. Complete success, my ass! Brigadier General, it sure seemed to me like the Bats knew you pretty damn well. You seem to be confused. Report in for a medical check. We'll decide if you're still fit for service based on the examinations. Cut it! That's enough! Get the MP! He's right. Get the MP. Vice Chairman Edwards of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? The Alicorn slipped into Anchorhead Bay after the mission was completed, using the confusion for cover. It resupplied quickly and escaped unharmed. Their goal was not to join forces. It was to resupply using the window we created by chasing away the Erujian forces. We did their bidding, albeit unknowingly. But the problem runs deeper than our lack of tactical acumen. Analyst North, explain for us. Of the crew caught in the submarine accident, 330 men made it back alive. Of them, 300 are still in the sub today. Our intel has led us to believe that some or all of the 30 men who left the sub are now working as agents for the Alicorn. Sabotage, espionage, cyber propaganda, dissemination of false intel. Brigadier General, do you recognize the name Edgar Saxon? Or Zool, as he used to go by. He is a former member of the Alicorn's crew, and your source of intel. You are a fool, Brigadier General Clemens. Not only that, the radio communications during the mission suggest you are a traitor. Sir, if you check with Lieutenant General Shepard, you'll understand that this is all just a misunderstanding. The Lieutenant General claims you were responsible for handling all aspects of the mission. Now, let me say that again. Get the MP. No need for that. Piece of shit. important intel from the mission. For example, the shells from long-range anti-air fire came in on depressed trajectories. Look, the estimated energy output of the railgun is 500 megajoules at least. Fired at minimum energy trajectory, range is over 3,000. They hit a powerful rail cannon aside from their main guns. It's almost like Stonehenge. A mobile Stonehenge. And also this. The Alicorn was in harbor at Anchorhead for approximately 10 minutes. They couldn't have loaded SLBMs. They loaded something smaller. Smaller? What is smaller and yet a powerful weapon? Huh. Tactical nukes. Close. The answer is tactical nuclear shells. Nuclear shells? No way. Hey, hey, he got that question right. Nah. I missed the shell part. Quiet! They'll likely attack our bases on the East Coast. Their target's Ored, the Ocean capital. They want a nuclear war? Here's a question. What's a situation where nuclear deterrence doesn't work? Quiz guy, I've had enough of this. Oh, only if terrorists have the nukes. Correct. Damn, Scald. Hey, I'm good at trivia games. But we're after an erosion submarine, not terrorists. No, he's right. HQ tells me Eruja's justification is that the Alicorn mutiny. As such, the Eruja military cannot be held responsible for the submarine's actions. Damn. So they intend on dropping a nuke on the Ocean capital of Ulred. Here's a question for you, Analyst. Just exactly who are we fighting? Correct term is terrorist, or irregular military, but I have a different name for them. An enemy to be stopped at all costs. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> 